Welcome to the Scale Model Club and on this week's show... Scale Model Club. This week's show, Rebels Level 4 176 Scale Humber Mark II. Uh, this is part of my desert diorama that I'm building with the two Shermans. Obviously, you've seen me do the Sherman. That was the other week, two weeks ago, can't remember now. Let's have a look and get, see what we get inside the box. It's a bit of bag with all the plastic parts and some instructions. I really like the, Le the, the Rebel, the new Rebel instructions because they're all colour. So let's, uh, let's just grab these uh, decals that come in here. Yes. So here we have, you get, now this is, I think, I might be wrong, it's an old Matchbox kit. Uh, and you get the little the little diorama base with it. I'm not using that, but I will, will show you it. Uh, so in the instructions, we get all the instructions on how to do it, what to do, what the symbols mean on the instructions, what colours you need, what numbers, and how to thin them down to use them with a brush. Picture of the two sprues that you get in the kit, and some nice clear instructions. I like these instructions, very clear, very easy, love the blue background, nicely printed, get a little, get a commander with it, he goes in the turret, there's the instructions for the base, so I put the base together, I'm going to paint it, undercoated it black, um, I might sort of do something with it, I don't know. So these are the colour schemes, that's the colour scheme I'm going to do, just the just the desert one. Um, I, 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 I don't know, I didn't know whether to put the, look, there's a German version in the minute you see that's got like a little bit of camouflage because all my other vehicles have got that kind of uh, khaki and black camouflage but I think I might just keep it khaki, it just gives a little bit of uh, change on the uh, diorama set. But they're the two options you can build with the kit. Here's the decals, two sets of decals obviously, you get the English decals and you get the German decals. Let's uh, put them to one side, have a look and see what we get. I mean, things all lopsided look. Okay. Right, let's have a look in here. It's quite an old kit, I would say. Um, due to the fact that you get the little diorama, I've not seen any other kits that come with like a little basic thing to put them on. But they're moulded okay. There's plenty of um, plenty of detail on there. Altogether, quite a nice kit. So, cut a few bits off the sprue, give them a bit of a sand, stick them together. Same as we did the uh, Shermans. The only thing I will say is this was particularly awkward. Um, but I think that's why it says the kit is a level 4, because it, 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 it was difficult to get all the bits to stay together. So, like I said, it's a normal bathtub style hole. 
So you've got the bottom, two sides, and then the top. Um, but they just fit together a little bit on the awkward side. They're okay though, fit nicely enough. Just have to hold them in place for a bit. Once you've got together, they're holding, just run a little bit of glue along the inside, give them a bit of extra stick. Sometimes that can go a little bit worse because if you put more glue on, it'll make them spread apart again. Same as everything really, be a bit gentle. I was actually going to get a clamp to clamp the whole thing together whilst I was uh, mucking about with it, but I decided not to, seeing as I, I didn't film it, but I put the clamp on and collapsed it and started again. So don't do that. What well, you can do. So this is the, there is a front and a back sort of armour plate underneath. Um, I wasn't, it, it actually tells you to put it on once you've got the bathtub style um, together, so you've got the two sides and the bottom together, but I, I thought maybe I'll put it on first and then maybe not, and so it's just having a bit of a think about it. You don't have to follow the instructions, you can do whatever you like. And I think in the end, I went to uh, putting it together after I put the two holes together. There was a lot of flash on the two pieces of uh, armour plate as well, so they needed a bit of sanding before they'd actually fit in the in the front and the back of the hull. So yeah, that's the point where I thought, I know, I'll put a peg on these to hold these together, but it didn't really work. are on, let's put two bits of armour plate in the front and the back. Now for the wheel arches. Just cut them off the plate, give them a bit of sand, put them into place, they fit really nicely. Ran some glue underneath and they just stayed there. Fitted really, really nicely. Four of them all together, to one side, to the other side. Actually, although it was quite an odd kit and a bit of flash, a bit of sanding, it all fitted really nicely. So I've got to do the 
Let's sell it now. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for keeping up with the uh, with my Africa diorama. Make sure you like and subscribe and push that notification button. Get guilty of not saying that enough, although it pops up on the screen enough times. So yeah, see, got two little holes. There's a little peg on the wheel arch. It sits just in you can't get them the wrong way around so I picked that one up and thought hello what's going on there so I had the right one in the wrong hole there you go just slot straight in lovely it came out to be a really nice model actually to be fair I'd recommend it to anyone apart from being a little bit fiddly here and there but got to push yourself Get out of your comfort zone. So, we large is on, hub together, let's get that out of the way. And the next thing is the top half. I think the instructions tell you to do this, but what I did do is uh, treat them both separately. So I cut all the bits off to go on the top half, because it's got like uh, the top half of the hole and then some armor plates and a grill that goes over the back. So I decided to build all of that up onto the top before you fit the two together. with the uh, side cutters give them a sand
see how I'm going to play the grill on the back. And now I've got to put the lower turret on. The turret uh, technically can move, um, but I'm like most of the models, I glued it in place. Uh, you, what you can do is you can fit that there, um, and then you glue a little spacer on the bottom and if you you're supposed to not glue between the two it'll still turn but I mean with the extra thin glue it runs everywhere anyway so but I was just gonna have it set where I you know, where you put it. It goes in a certain way. You can only put it. Um, you can put the turret anyway, but the turret, but the actual turret that goes onto the top of that will only go one way. So whatever way you glue that on is which way your turret's going to be facing. Just bear that in mind, because I mean I just wanted it facing forward because I wanted the guy with the binoculars, that's the little figure that goes in it looking forward. So I I glued it all in place looking forward. If you want it looking to the side. Then obviously you're going to have to glue that part in facing sidewards. to hold these all together top and the bottom not for too long right so now we can attack the drive trains. So that's obviously a differential um, and the drive shaft that the drive that goes into it. A bit of glue, put the differential in. Uh, I then decided to fit that almost straight into the body um, because I wanted to make sure that the drive shaft fitted in its hole before the glue had gone off. Otherwise you end up, you know, it's all at a funny angle and the drive shaft fitting into the differential doesn't fit, you know, it's not spot on. So like that, put it on, make sure everything fits and it's all level as well and then pop your extra thin glue in and that'll hold it in place. That was the, I think that was the rear, and the front differential fits exactly the same. So I did exactly the same, put the glue on it, put the drive shaft in it, and then fit it to the vehicle while it was still a little bit sticky, so that you can move it around whilst the glue goes off. some nice detail underneath the car to be fair I'm not going to muck about with any of it um, uh, because you're not going to see it on my diorama so but there are as you can see there's springs differentials drive shafts and it, you know it looked quite nice if you um, put some washes in there and painted some of the drive shafts different colors and the springs maybe
next job is Tara. Turret is quite fiddly, uh, comes in quite a lot of bits. Again, it also has the option for you to have a movable gun, um, but like usual, it's, it's all glued in place. One of these days, I'll do one where you can move it about and then we can all have fun moving the gun about. But this one, I think this one's fiddly because it's 176, it's only a small gun, I think it's actually like a 20 millimeter cannon. Um, and there's a Visa machine gun next to it. But it's all quite small, especially for old sausage fingers here. But basically I pop that, that, that part there is what marries up with the bit in the actual body of the hole. So I think in the end I think I popped that in place um, and it sat quite nicely and just literally let the glue run round it once I've sorted out which way round it goes. runs round and sticks. Fair, I think it's one of the best glues out there, tell me stuff. I had a few problems with the uh, brush on this one, so I think I ended up actually using a paintbrush in the end, which you can do, but obviously you ruin your paintbrush. So yeah, sorry Bill, all we've got to do now is put the gun on the front, which wasn't easy. Uh, mainly because it's really difficult to get these things off the sprue so be careful when you cut them off the sprue because these are they're tiny on there and then they fell off and I put them on then they fell off and that goes on the front of the turret and it was quite this was quite awkward because I needed to to get it into the right position because obviously it, because it's got the movable parts added on to it you can have it in sort of multiple positions but I needed it just to stay in sort of a an up-ish position because I didn't want it to be flopping down or I didn't want it to be sticking up in the air either. Yes, yeah, so that's too far down, so let's move that up. The glue is quite good. What you can do, I didn't do because I was not rushing, but just during general model making, if you put the glue on and you stick it down, if you give it a few minutes, it'll start to grab and then you can sort of move it about until for a couple of seconds until it really grabs and I didn't and it fell off there we are turret now what I didn't do is I didn't film me painting it but I literally put a bit of blue tack on the top and I put, put, put a stick in it did the same with the turret and painted the whole lot in um, the pink desert colour from the AK Interactive uh, paint, which is for the uh, desert. Same ones I did the other the other tanks in. Um, 
Uh, I painted the wheels that same colour look and then I painted the tyres in uh, NATO black. So what I've got left to do here is cut the wheels off and fit them into the tyres and then glue those onto the vehicle. You had to use super glue to glue them onto the vehicle because it's got paint on. I could have sprayed the paint off but I just, just, I just elected to use super glue. So the tyres are all in black, wheels are all in the pink, same as the rest of the vehicle. And because they're also painted, I use super glue to paint to stick the wheels onto the tyres. Pop that in there. And that's one done. And then once I've done all four of those, I'll just stick them onto the vehicle. And there's a spare one that you can stick on the front. So there we go, so that's all together now, I've then given it a gloss coat, uh, it's a cheap uh, gloss varnish, can't remember where I got it, and this is, like you said, this is an army painter brown, it's a light brown wash, and it just gives the whole vehicle a little bit of depth. I've got to paint the whole vehicle with this, so it's almost like a filter as it, as it were, but I think it gives it a flows into all the nooks and crannies, gives it some shadow. Uh, the There were some extras that come with the kit, so you have some sleeping bags, uh, oil cans, petrol cans, ammo boxes. So the ammo boxes were fitted, they're painted in the same colour, so they're all the same colour. I painted the jerry cans in like a dark green for your dark olive, and I painted the sleeping bag in the same dark olive then painted the straps in a brown leather colour. So now it's just going to run over the turret. You can see what it does because it's got the gloss on. You dip it in because it's a, a light wash. It just runs around all the... And if you dip your... If you clean your brush off and then go over it again, it picks something up if you've got a little bit too much in places. So just smear it around. So this is my base plate. This is what I'm going to put the sand on. So this is me. This is all the vehicles we've got to complete the diorama. So I've got the two um, Shermans, haven't really decided on gun placements, and we've got the little scout car as if we're trundling through the desert or just moving off or I'm not really sure because I've also got the Bren gun carrier that we did before. I've got a um, anti-tank gun, and then I've got the Eighth Army that I've painted in the same kind of colours to go around it as well. And that's the end of this video. So thanks very much for watching. Thanks for uh, liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time when we should be playing about with putting some sand on the base plate and gluing these little figures down. Thanks very much for watching. Laters.